Yo, so on guys, it's Houston Sports Hub back in the video today. And today the Houston Rockets lose the Dallas Mavericks 125 to 107. The winning streak is over. The 11 game winning streak is over. And the Rockets had won 13 out of their last 14 games. I guess if you think about it, they've still won 13 out of their last 15 games. But still, the winning streak's over. And yeah, you know, a little disappointed. But you know, I, I, you know, I, I gotta say this: you can never be disappointed when. Your team loses, and the biggest reason why they lost was because Luka Doncic played the way he played tonight. 47 points, 12 rebounds, 7 assists. When Luka is playing like that, it is hard to win the basketball game. I mean, 9 for, nine for 16 from 3. Dallas shot on Blue from 3 tonight. 24 for 47, 51.1% from 3. And Dallas played great basketball. Kyrie was even great. I mean, even though Luka... 40, 47 in only 35 minutes. Kyrie still went out there and scored uh, 24 points in this ball game. Shot four for nine from three. So when Luca's playing like that with 12 rebounds, seven assists as well, uh, I, I just saw in the Sports Center this incredible trick shot. He threw it. He threw it almost to the. He threw the ball with one hand almost almost to the ceiling. The ball went so high, and the ball still went in. Uh, he still made it before the game started. I mean. And I'm I'm thinking no wonder why he you know play you know he had such a good game tonight. When he sees a shot like that go in, uh, he's gonna think every shot's gonna go in, and and nearly every shot did go in for Luca tonight. Eighteen for thirty, only missed twelve shots. Nine for sixteen from three, tied a career high in threes tonight. So he was unbelievable, and I'm I am a little disappointed in the Rockets, and I'll, and I'll tell you guys why I'm disappointed in the Rockets, and this is why, because. I don't know why they started trapping him and double teaming him. Like ob obviously that's what you're supposed to do, but why did they wait so long to do that? Like it it it, it started to work. I mean, it really did. Um and and the the disappointing thing is you know, the Rockets started to cut the lead down. I think they brought a, a, what was a Dallas 29 point lead all the way down to like Maybe it was 14-15 that they cut the lead Dallas's lead down to. They played better defense. They were they were getting stops off of Luka, double teaming him, trapping him. It was causing some turnovers and they were doing a good job. But it was it was you know, too late. Way too late uh, to you know, to change things around. I mean, they they let Luka do so much against them to the point where it, it, this game was over. This game was over before it even started. Uh so that that is the only frustrating thing i have towards this game but after this game ends we all become dallas all us rockets fans we become dallas mavericks fans this week i know that sounds weird to say i it's weird for me to say it too but the dallas mavericks are <laughs> the dallas mavericks are playing the golden state warriors twice this week and the rockets this loss and their win against the spurs 117 to 113 doesn't really help our favor now we're back to two games back it's not like it's the end of the world there's still uh there's still eight games left in the season for us and i believe there's eight games left in the season for them i'm not sure maybe there's nine for them and so you know but but Dallas does play Golden State twice this week, and that's why we said that's why I said we all become Dallas Mavericks friend. We all become Dallas Mavericks fans this week. They play they play Golden State Tuesday and Thursday. So one's in Dallas, one's in San Francisco. So I really hope Dallas can uh, get two wins this week against the Golden State War the Golden State Warriors. I think that helped the Rockets a lot. Wait, no, no, sorry, sorry. We play Golden State Thursday. Um, we play Golden State Thursday, the Rockets do, and Dallas plays them Tuesday. And then I think Golden State's game Golden State's game after the Houston game on Saturday, their next game after the Rockets and after the Rockets and um after the Rockets and Golden State play on Thursday is Dallas on Saturday. So Dallas Dallas plays them Saturday and Tuesday. Golden State plays us on Thursday. That's my bad. So uh, one twenty five one oh seven is the final score. If I didn't already say that, I had some other things to talk about. 
Um, but, I mean, Jabari wasn't bad at all in this game. I thought Jabari was really good. I thought this was one of Jabari's best games of the season. I mean, definitely one of his best shooting games of the season. 5 for 7 from 3, 28 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, 9 for 14, 5 for 5 from the free throw line. Jalen, you know, what? not terrible, not a good 3-point shooting night, of course. You know, although, from what he, you know, the amount of 3-point attempts he's been taking that went down. Uh, he only took five, zero for five tonight. But he he's been his his numbers from three, his attempts have been a lot higher than five a game. Um, like his last game, he shot eleven, went six for, six for eleven, shot five for fifteen. It wasn't a terrible shooting night. He scored twelve points, six rebounds, five assists. It wasn't a good night, and also. He only played 31 minutes. It wasn't a great night for Jalen, but I will say, I mean, he wasn't a terrible shooting night, but it wasn't a good shooting night. It was a mid-shooting night for Jalen Green. Uh, and also, you know, his, his minutes were under of what he's usually been getting in this winning streak because this was a blowout. Uh, 10 points for Van Vliet with 7 assists. You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why Van Vliet wasn't shooting more in this game. Uh, I, f I felt like he was a little bit too shy. Shot three for four, three for four from three. Why was he not shooting more in 32 minutes? I mean, um, I didn't understand that. Dylan Brooks played 28 minutes, shot 0 for 8, 0 for 7. I talked about Van Vliet not shooting more. Dylan Brooks needed to shoot less in this game. 0 for 7 from three, 0 for 8 from the floor, three rebounds, one assist. Um, and Thompson had eight points with seven rebounds, two steals, one assist, three for eight, 0 for one from three. T only 20 minutes, not bad at all. Not not disappointed. Uh, 13 points for Cam Whitmore. For, I thought for a return game, I mean, he's been out for weeks. Uh, five, five rebounds. He's been out for like two or three weeks. Five for 12, two for six from three, one for four at the free throw line. Free throw line struggles. I thought, I thought that was really the only problem in Cam Whitmore's game tonight. He had a really nice dunk in this one, too. Played 22 minutes in his return. I was really impressed by Cam. I mean, the Rockets, outside of Jabari, they're, they're, you know, their scoring came from off the bench tonight. Whitmore had 13. Holiday was outstanding in this game. 16 points, 6 for, six for, 11, from, for 6 for 11 from 3, 2 steals. He was playing some good defense in this game to try to help the Rockets, you know, cut that lead down, which they did, uh, making a little bit of a run of a, making a little bit of a run in the third quarter. Um, but, you know, he, he had a really good second half in this one for the Rockets. 11 points for Jock Lando with four rebounds, five for 12. And that was really it for the Rockets off the bench. Two points for Jeff Green. He only played five minutes. Uh, Jay Sean Tate played eight minutes, two points. Reggie Bullock Jr., 11 minutes, one for three, three points. And Nate Williams got five minutes at the end and had two points. Bobon was a DMP. So let me know your thoughts on the game in the comment section as the Rockets lose 125 to 107. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace out. Go Rockets.